In this video, you will see some crazy new advancements, like the world's first zero-emissions polar exploration vehicle, aptly named Antarctica, or the world's first 100% hydrogen electric hybrid skateboard truck by Gusan. Or if you stick around, you'll get to see the world's most powerful tidal turbine, simply called the O2. No matter the number of wheels, or whether it uses a road, the water, or an airway, electric innovations arrive all the time. I'm Glenn, and let's get to it. 10. We're going to kick it all off with the MK5 from Japan's Tetra Aviation. In 2020, they won a sweet $100,000 prize at the GoFly Personal Flight Contest, and they have now unveiled the lightweight 33 Roto sensation, the Oshkosh. This sleek white and black quad-winged aircraft has a single seat and is designed for personal transport. 32 of the rotors are on the wings and engage lift and acceleration, with a single pusher in the rear. The aluminum frame and polymer body combined with a 13.5 kilowatt hour battery adds up to just under 1,100 pounds. That's already too heavy for some pilots, as the MK5 will likely only accommodate a 200 pound rider or lighter. Balancing that fine line, Tetra Aviation is looking at a top cruising speed of 100 miles per hour when the commercial version launches sometime in 2022. We live in this big old 3D world, yet we have chained ourselves to the 2D primarily by roads. That's what Opener says anyway, and they have a pretty good idea to utilize the power of flight. Not just any garden variety flight though, we're talking electrically powered flight, clean flight. That's where the black fly comes in, and it has quite a bit of new info since the last time we covered this one. This easy to use and safe EV toll from Opener is one of the many strides we see in e-vehicles being used for public transportation. This isn't just a change in the way we travel, but a difference in the infrastructure. The Blackfly has been put through the ringer with flight tests, with thousands of flights and hundreds of thousands of propulsion endurance tests. And as you would hope, there's a whole litany of safety measures with anything from redundant motors to a ballistic parachute system to ensure your safe reacquaintance with the Earth. Up next, we have yet another update for you, coming from the teams at Kitty Hawk. This company has decades worth of experience in anything and everything flying. They take the history of their craft seriously. The heavy side is a single passenger EV toll that was first introduced to the world in 2019. It has since been the fourth EV toll to receive airworthiness approval from the US military. That is due in no small part to the safety and efficiency these electric flying machines offer, especially the heavy side. Kitty Hawk even claims their baby the heavy side uses half the energy per mile of a Tesla Model S at higher speeds, topping out at about 180 miles per hour. With a range of 100 miles on a single charge, this smooth ride looks very efficient and pleasant with claims of it being 100 times quieter than a helicopter. Six. 
seven. From Airspeeder's perspective, racing has pushed the motor car ever forward, and they take that mentality to the skies. Their ultimate goal is to build the highest performance flying car on the market. Introducing the world's first racing series for manned flying electric cars, the EXA series. This is a three model series planned to release by the end of 2021. The Mark III has seating and controls for a single pilot, but during its inaugural flight, it was flown remotely. That's the beauty of the EXA series, remote controlled flights for a worry-free trip on the public's end. The Mark III has a zero to 62 acceleration of 2.8 seconds, and the Mark IV has a top speed of 100 miles per hour. These are powerful machines, and if you are a fan of Formula One, you will more than likely be a big fan of the EXA series. Venturi is a French company that does many things that all center around two words, electric mobility. After surviving bankruptcy in the 90s, Venturi shifted gears toward electric power and it now thrives like never before. It's not all race cars and aircraft in the electric world. There are problems everywhere that need solving and that's where stuff like Antarctica comes in. This big old angular box on treads may not be as big as the continent it's named after, but it handles the frigid corners of our world as well as any other. Antarctica is a bright piece of equipment designed for research stations. It can carry up to six researchers with their equipment and with a second battery, has a range of 31 miles. Are the utility innovations of interest to you, or do you prefer to see some toys? Let us know in the comments. Gusson is open about their craft and that they are driving on unpaved paths. Instead of bending to the traditional mindsets, they tackle each problem with a viewpoint like their clean autonomous machines. You'll never be caught guessing when talking about Gusson. With that perspective, Gusson has created a sort of skateboard for trucks. These are platforms designed for Class 8 tractors and straight trucks from 18 feet to 44 feet. If the truck is looking to haul along some goods a very long distance, then there is a 100% hydrogen option with a range of roughly 500 miles. A refill on one of these is less than 20 minutes, if you can believe that. However, if the truck in question isn't looking to go quite so far, there is the 100% electric option as well, with a shorter range of 186 miles. This isn't Gusson's first foray into the autonomous electric world either. The EAB is one such vehicle, although it shuttles people, not goods. After having over 18 million viewers during their first extreme e-electric off-road race, it is clear that electric racing is popular. With that success comes a want for more, 
So let's round out this stuffed satchel of science and satisfaction with a little taste of the beach. The E1 series is a collaborative effort between a handful of companies that seek to take the racing philosophy to the open seas. The Racebird is just one way they are treading new waters. This sleek water bullet is designed with hydrofoil technology to lift it out of the water 16 inches to reduce drag. While plenty of boats can outdo the Racebird's top speed of 58 miles per hour, this is a solid start in tackling clean energy boating. The first race using these daredevil attractors is set with a 2023 date. So mark your calendars. Da Vinci was perhaps one of the most influential minds in our history, and the name inspires ingenuity. It's undoubtedly influenced Da Vinci Tech, a dynamics technology company that is focused on one single thing, fun. Da Vinci Tech is the proud owner and designer of two unique electric motorcycles, the DC Classic and the DC 100. The DC Classic, as you may have guessed, was the first bike built by Da Vinci Tech and with simplicity in mind. This boxy pavement pusher doesn't have too many doodads bloating its feature list, only quality materials and more than adequate metrics. The DC 100 is not so traditional as the classic. It is, at its essence, a dynamic robot. Aside from a flashy chassis, the DC 100 also has kinetic energy recovery, hill assistance, traction control, and the whole range. I think we're long overdue in showcasing an electric car on this list. This one is brought to us by Vanderhall, a name you may be familiar with. This innovative company has been creating groundbreaking advancements since H.T. Hall invented the first synthetic diamond press. The slim aerodynamic frame of the Brawley is sitting on a complete set of 35-inch tires for domination on the road or off. Inside the sealed cabin is heat and AC with an interior made from high-quality materials. When it comes to performance, the Brawley's 404 horsepower dominates, with a range of 200-plus miles on a single charge. However, I doubt you'll get nearly that much juice outside paved roads. Even so, less than an hour of idle time is all it takes to charge the battery back up to 80%. So does it matter? Orbital Marine is yet another company looking to advance our societies into the next era of clean energy. The more the merrier, and Orbital is tackling things their way. Introducing the world's most powerful tidal turbine in the world. The 243-foot O2 was launched off the coast of Orkney, Scotland, and is set to provide clean, sustainable energy for the next 15 years. With its 2 million watt turbine, the O2 is aimed to provide for around 2,000 homes in the UK. With any luck, we'll see more of these X-Wing-like power generators around the globe. Does the O2 excite you? Or were you perhaps more interested in another of the innovations showcased here? 
Let us know in the comments. We love to hear your feedback.